good day guys welcome back to my channel again we have a printer Epson L3110 the client said that it it uh, it keeps paper jam when they, they print sometimes it fits sometimes it does not fit we have a few half cut here when paper to test so let's scan first So the band paper prints normally. Let's do it again. They said it's paper jam. It does not print now it, it says what does the paper says I'm in the printer I think it's incorrect loading or there is no paper detected So the printer is trying to print nothing there. You can see that the paper stuck halfway here. It's stuck. So that's what the client said. And we have a paper jam problem here. So let's test again. So it's printing, printing blank guys, there is no bond paper there but it's trying to print. So the paper did not get through and now it's paper jam again. The printer cannot pass, I mean the bond paper cannot pass. So let's open this guys, maybe there's a jam object, turn off the printer. Remove all the power cords and cable. There is a two screws here. Remove it. Now we can open, slide to the left, and just do this. After that, remove the cables, the flex cables, guys. slide here you just slide to the left side and now the printer is open let's let's investigate spring first so the spring is intact no problem 
so this is where the feed the bent paper feeds So firstly, I will teach you how to. You cannot print there if you if your print head is not in the middle. Okay. So you need to rotate here to to free this one. Okay. So because this is locked, as you can see, it's locked here. You need to rotate this one here as you can see just do that and unlock that's unlocked no it's not that maybe yeah after it's unlocked let's test the paper and rotate So as you can see, the bent paper is not going through. It's not going through, guys. So what do you think? Okay, let's try to force the bent paper. Help. There. If, if what we have a jam so I think there's no jam object there because the bun paper can manually pass through all right so what I want to check is this roller rubber here the rubber seems very thin now guys this is what caused the problem it's very thin maybe the paper cannot pass through because it cannot uh, properly intact with this one so let's remove that guys to check To remove that we have a small lock here we just bend like that and also the other one now it's free There's a still spring here guys, so don't be confused. This is the original position. And this is the spring for the roller. We need to remove using tweezer. It's been removed. Now we need to we can safely remove the roller guys at the back just simply pull this thing like this and it will come come out so as you can see guys look at this one the rubber rubber is very thin and has this side here the roller is okay it's, it rotates in one direction so it means it's okay but this thin rubber is causing the jam because it cannot feed the bent paper it cannot uh, push the bent paper in so we need to find like this guys I'll be back I will look for our replacement 
Okay guys, we're back. We found some replacement. This is from L31 L3110. So it's the same compared to this previous original. How thick is this one? The rubber compared to the problematic one guys. So it's very thin. This very thin compared to this replacement here. This is a good rubber. This one is a bad need to be replaced. It's very thin. Look at that. Look at the side by side comparison. Okay, so we're going to install that one, guys. Simple as what we do to remove simply align this thing this two um, here inside and if you can align that simply snap you can hear that snap and we will uh, return the spring I'm uh, using one handed guys because my other hands is holding the camera so that's good you can see guys it's, it's now very thick compared to the previous one okay so we will uh, return this one make sure the spring guys is attached here if it's loose then just try to rotate in any direction just to be intact there and align this one to this two this We need to move this one there backwards we need to move that backward here so we can insert freely this one okay guys just align there I will uh, put the camera still You can align with your hands to fit there. After that, you need to push one slowly and return this lock. And also the other one. there so now for the testing let's manual rotate manual rotate this one so that we can know that the roller is working the rod the new one you can see it should rotate also as the main roller rotates So guys, it rotates now. 
you see when you manual rotate this one it should rotate also because that's that's the thing that uh, pulls the band paper band, band paper band paper guys look at that so that is a good sign let's do a manual band paper uh, feeding guys let's go first to the original position let's speed the band paper let's and try to rotate manually so as you can see guys the band paper now went through without any problem you can also do this see so now for the final test we need to reinstall all the case there so that's good now we need to first install this one I'm gonna show you how to install this scanner First, you know, you need to this one. There's a circle. You need to insert that to the other side. Here, you need to insert that here. Why are you not focusing? You need to insert that here, and the other side is here. That should not uh, wo wobble if you insert it properly. That should not wobble and that should not be moved. That means you insert it in the right place. Next step, return all the flex cable guys. Make sure it's intact. Next is the casing. There is a hole here in the other side. Just simply do like this and like that. And open the cartridge cover. Ayo, ayo. Close. Eh, pangilabot. Takot, takot. And we are good. Ano ang ilaptanon ka? Okay. So now we test. We need to test. I see. Can you do it? Look out! Let's feed some paper. This is a blank blank paper, and it's stable now. We need to print at least three and print. So, guys, it prints now. See? 
no paper jam we fix the problem guys no paper jam this is what we print so no more paper jam so that's it guys we fixed the problem so we just replaced this very thin rubber here we we'll replace set this whole thing and everything now is good and thank you for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe and peace